With the launch of 825, there are some major differences that we wanted to highlight. Compucare 825 introduces the new user interface. Over the last few months, our developers have been working hard to redesign the look of Compucare. Apart from the standard array of new enhancements, which are normally introduced in new builds, the system itself predominantly has not changed. The main purpose of this video is to highlight some of the major changes that have been introduced due to the new UI. When we took the decision to redesign CompuCare, we decided to opt for a cleaner, clearer and more intuitive interface. Especially for those using widescreen monitors, we have made better use of the free space. From the login screen, you can start to see the style of the new user interface. So launching into CompuCare and starting off with the home screen. The most noticeable UI changes from 825 are visible on the home screen. As you can see, CompuCare has been stripped back from a colour perspective and we have also toned down the blocks of colour, which now puts more emphasis on the data being displayed. Similar to the look and feel changes in the home area, this can also be seen in the patient and people areas. Looking at the patient area, you can see there is a clear distinction between the home area and the patient area. This is also reflected in the people area. This change has been made to clearly indicate to the user which area of the system they are in, whereas in previous versions, this wasn't quite as obvious. There have been some minor changes to the searching for patients or people. The change to the patient and people searching will benefit those users who use touchscreen devices. As you can see, the search window has been extended to utilize the full length of the screen. Once you have identified your required patient, simply select the patient and open the record as normal. To search for another patient, select the magnifying glass that has now dropped below the patient icon. Then the patient search will be launched as standard. These changes will make it easier to cycle between open patient records. This new searching function is also the same for the people area. There has been a change to the way that the number of open patients or people are displayed. There is now a notification badge showing against the patient or people icon to display how many records are open, rather than the alternating number and icon from previous versions. This will make it more obvious to the user how many patient or people records are currently open. Looking at the patient banner, there has been some changes introduced from the new UI that we wanted to highlight. Firstly, the patient picture now displays differently than in previous versions. We have also made changes to the display of the quick links on the left-hand side of the patient banner. When there are no records behind the links, they are greyed out. By adding a note to the patient record, you will see what happens to the link icons when there are records present. As you can see by adding a note to the patient record, the note icon on the patient banner has now been highlighted, indicating to the user that there are notes present. With the redesign of the patient banner, the basic demographic information has now been hidden behind a drop-down to provide more space for the patient alerts. To view this demographic information, simply select the drop-down arrow by the quick link icons. Still focusing on the patient area, one of the other main changes is the way that alerts are now displayed. In previous versions of CompuCare, there were aspects of colour coding of the types of alerts. However, these were only really visible on the live alerts tile in the patient area. We've now incorporated the colour coding of patient alerts to be visible on the banner. These colours will provide clarity to the user as to the type of alert. Red is for allergy, blue is for clinical, yellow is for general and green is for financial. The patient banner that is visible in other areas of the system also displays alerts slightly differently. The alerts icon on the banner will have a notification badge on the icon to indicate how many alerts are against the record. The alerts are still visible on the banner and for those patients that have multiple alerts, the user can simply use the arrows to scroll through them. This banner is consistent throughout other areas of the system. As a part of the UI changes in 8.25, we made some minor design changes to the grids of data and the reading pane, as you can see from the check-in screen. 
Specifically looking at the episode of Care Banner, as you can see, the same information is displayed but has been redesigned to utilize the space better and put emphasis on important information. Visually, the information should be easier for users to see. This patient's episode of care is currently visible for a self-pay referral. By swapping to a patient with a different referral source, you can see the difference on the appearance of the episode of care for those hospitals who do NHS work. The RTT clock is no longer displayed as a dial. The information is displayed using the circle on the left-hand side of the episode of care banner. This circle will change colour depending on the breach date and the time remaining on the RTT clock. For more information, if you hover over the circle, a flyout will be visible. The flyout is available on all episodes of care, not just those with an RTT clock. As you can see, the linked records on the left hand side of the reading pane have been redesigned, which reflects the stripping back of blocks of colour. This means that the data is now being displayed in a more intuitive way. For linked records, we have opted for a similar display to the quick links on the patient banner. Initially looking at a patient with a linked order, as you can see, the order icon has been highlighted to indicate to the user that the patient has a related order. Moving over to the check-in screen, and by adding a charge to a patient, you can see what happens to that particular icon. Once a charge has been added, you can see that the charge icon has now been highlighted in green, indicating to the user that this booking has related charges. There are now two icons which have been highlighted, displaying to the user that there are linked records for orders and charges. Focusing on the Add and Edit style screens, with the redesign we have opted to better utilise the space on the right hand side. We have introduced an information style pane where the blank space used to be. The warnings are now visible in this pane, providing the user with a clearer indication that there are warnings related to the booking that they're trying to complete. Upon saving the record, the post actions will appear as expected. These have been redesigned to reflect the new UI. However, functionality-wise, they have not changed and you are still able to complete your normal post actions, such as printing an appointment letter. Prior to 825, when you were editing the patient demographic record, there was a navigation panel to the various areas of the demographic record. With the UI changes in 825, we have introduced the information pane for better use of the empty space. As a result of this, the navigation panel on the patient demographic record has been removed, so this area can also make use of the information pane to highlight the related warnings to the user. Back in 817, we introduced an electronic registration form as an alternative to the paper one printed from the system. The e-reg form has continued to be developed over previous builds and has also had some minor changes in 825 due to the new UI. As can be seen in other areas of the system, the e-reg form also uses the new information pane to indicate to the user or patient that mandatory fields have not been completed or any other related warnings from the form. On completion of the form, CompuCare will prompt the user to enter their password if the system has been launched into patient mode. The status of the form is still visible on the reading pane of the patient booking as expected. When comparing the completed form with the patient demographic record, the form is now displayed on the right hand side using the information pane. Any changes in patient details can be simply copy and pasted from the e-reg form to the demographic record. The Clinician's View is a new module that has been recently introduced into CompuCare. In CompuCare 825, there have been some minor design changes to the look of the Clinician's View. The main changes are that the quick links have now been moved over to the right hand side of the screen to utilise the space much, much better. The theatre tracking app has been redesigned as a part of the new UI changes to promote a cleaner, clearer display. However, functionality wise, it hasn't changed. Just to highlight, the WHO checklists, which are completed during relevant stages of theatre, now use a new information pane to display any warnings. This will also be the same for any other forms that are completed in theatre. 
One of the best examples of the new information pane in use can be seen when adding a prescribed item. When adding a prescribed item, the warnings, side effects, prescriber cautions, contraindications and indications are now shown on the information pane. This change now makes full use of the space on the right hand side, displaying the important clinical information in a more obvious and user friendly way. For further information and any queries on the latest enhancements to CompuCare, you can contact us via the email address and phone number now displayed. We will continue to upload release videos and how to's onto the Street Seavers YouTube channel so make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date. Thank you for watching.